Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasol. I got asked all the time about how to do the back button to home on navigation drawer. Actually, it's not very hard, so let me show you how to do that. But let's see the app first. See that? Click back and then you go to home. Okay, so first let's create, um, you know, like a normal app. Give a name and choose navigation drawer. And let me run it first. Okay, here is the navigation drawer. But then when you click on the back button, it closes the app. So let me create a quick uh, fragment. So choose fragment and then uncheck them and give a name. Let's say home fragment for the home. And let me change the uh, layout. So go to the layout file. You are free to use any of your favorite layout like frame layout or constraint layout. but. Let me use the linear layout, very simple for this example and add the orientation as well, otherwise linear is not working. And then just uh, drop like a calendar in there. Let me create another fragment, a fast one, camera and do the same thing. Okay, here we go and then we have another style of calendar just for our example okay so go back to the main activity and go down to this part on navigation icon selected and first you have to declare a variable as a you know a fragment variable and declare it as a null mm, my typing today is not good and you have to import the right one the support v4 okay and here in the camera, this is where we want to open a new fragment. Just call it like that. And we have to check uh, if the fragment is not now, then we can uh, replace the, you know, the, the fragment with our uh, camera fragment. Okay. And we use the support um, fragment manager here. But now we don't have any uh, layout for the fragment to go into. So we have to go to Content main and the same thing just uh, change this one to linear layout but we need the scroll the scroll view because you know like sometimes the layout is um, the fragment is bigger than the layout then we can have a scroll okay and inside the scroll we can have another layout uh, linear layout okay and don't forget to put the orientation to vertical and here is the main part we have to give the ID and for now I call main layout this is where all the fragment will go into this is very important okay and now let's go back to the code um, oh. I think maybe uh, it's not refreshed yet so let me build uh, the code a little bit so click build and rebuild and try one more time okay now the main layout is uh, available now and use the fragment and fragment tag um, it's up to you if you want to use fragment tag or not but in this case just use it you know for another purpose and let's run it okay now you can see when I click on the camera you have the camera fragment so now is the pen part we want to deal with the uh, home okay so the best way we have to create maybe another private method I call show home here and the code is very similar um, actually just copy the code and paste it and change the home okay and here the code from the down is uh, the same one because actually we don't press on the menu we just use the you know like a raw code so we have to rewrite a, you know the if fragment is not null again so and at the top we want to show the show home as a default because see that but when you click on the back button it closes the app so here is where you want to change the code this is a place that you want to, to test it let me test it if you disable this code then you cannot exit the app even you click on the back button see that because the code super don't backpress this is where you want to tackle 
Okay, so the home uh, is coming up. So we want to test the home. And the code actually is not uh, Android, it's actually Java. We just test that fragment instead of home fragment or not, okay? The code is not anything about Android, it's just Java, okay? If the home is available, then we want to click back. If not, then we want to show the home. That's it, you know? That is the code that you, you want to put in your, your app. Uh, here in the back press okay so let me summarize that so first you declare the fragment outside create a method and then you know the code that you want to write here is the fragment okay so thank you for watching I hope you like it and if you have any question just comment down below thank you and I will see you in the next video